Hi, and thanks for dropping by. You know, often when we take pictures of flowers, we want to get everything in focus, so we use a small aperture, say f11, f16, maybe even f22. We want to get the whole flower bed in focus, maybe something like that. But how about a more intimate view of the flower garden? Well, today, on Visual Art Photography Tutorials, we're going to get right into the garden and use a very shallow depth of field by using a very large aperture. So we've established that we're going to use a shallow depth of field, and the reason for that is, in this particular project, what we want to do is really bring out the delicate quality in the flowers. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to be getting down lower than usual for this project. So um, what that means for a lot of photographers, I'm talking to photographers and they're telling me that they're having problems bending down or even lying down, something like that. Uh, for those of you out there who are having those kinds of problems, I have a tip later on in the video which may help you get a little bit lower when you're doing some of your photography. I hope so anyway. All right, so we're going to head outside and we're going to take a look at how to make a really intimate looking flower photo. And as usual, if you have any questions or comments as this video progresses, uh, please address them down below. So let's go outside. So in order to use a shallow depth of field in our photography, we're going to set our aperture on our lens wide open. And in this case, on this 70 to 200 millimeter uh, lens, the widest it can go is f4. Uh, it's perfect, you're going to see. Now, what I'm trying to do here, and, and these flowers are kind of, they've seen a better day, uh, but there are a couple that are still pretty fresh. And I see one in a distance from me here that I'm gonna actually zoom in on. And the perfect thing here is that I've got flowers in front. And this is what I want to do. I actually want to shoot through the flowers. Now the flowers in front aren't in great shape, but it won't matter because they're going to be completely out of focus because I'm using F4. I'm shooting wide open, so I have a very shallow depth of field. Okay, so I've got flowers close to me. I've got my subject a little further away, and I'm going to fire a shot, uh, and I'm going to shoot through the flowers that are closer to me, and I'm going to focus on the flower that I want in the distance. I'm zooming in now, and I'll fire a shot. What we've done on this first shot is we've used uh, flowers in the foreground to frame, actually frame the subject, which is this echinacea uh, flower right here. And all of these, that which are closer to me, are out of focus. All right, so we're using the flowers in the foreground to frame the subject, which is actually in the background. Now, if we want even a little bit more of this coming in, a little more of this color uh, coming in, we'll shift down a little bit. So this next shot is a little bit lower. You see the difference? They're actually it causing a film to be created over the, over the petals here. Look at the difference between the first one and the second one. Okay, a little more ethereal. Very, very delicate. Look how it, it's almost blotchy, you know, the, the colors here, and they, they obscure this flower here and this over here. And, but your main subject is still there, and it, it shows that delicate quality of flowers. It's, it's almost very fragile, but you're right in the garden. I mean, this is, for sure, this isn't taking a picture of a flower bed. Here you're right in the garden. Now, for an even more uh, kind of bug's eye view, as if you were an insect right in the garden. Here's another one. Look at that. Now, if I had taken away, if I had moved this stalk right here so that you had a completely clear view of this echinacea flower, um, it would have been okay. But uh, by leaving that there, and you have this one here and this one here, um, it creates a pattern, but it also, uh, it's as if you're almost like an insect flying right in the garden. And it's very realistic. There's nothing contrived about this. It's just the way the garden is. Now, all of this haze here, this is actually another echinacea flower, out of focus. Everything in front, there are different other plants that, are, that I'm shooting through uh, that are causing this almost like a haze. It's almost like a Gaussian effect. 
but you still see your subject. And it's, it's really like you're inside the garden. A totally different kind of view, a totally different kind of feel. Here's another thing. Okay, I moved around the garden, and now all of this uh, magenta and, uh, over here in pink, echinacea, uh, and there's a bit of a breeze now, and everything's kind of moving a little bit, and everything's very diffused, and it's, you know, kind of a little bit out of focus. Um, different kind of technique, but it's almost like it's alive. It has some life to it in this particular one. And if you don't want to do flowers and you just have some plants around, something like this, mostly everything's out of focus. This over here is in focus a bit. This over here is very sharp. Everything else is out of focus. And it's a, it gives everything a little bit of a different feel. It's very intimate. Now here's that tip that I promised you. Okay, so I'm down on one knee to do this, but I know that talking to some of you photographers out there, it's a bit of a problem sometimes to get down low to the ground. Well, guess what? I've got a solution for you. I don't know if you've seen these before, but these are folding chairs and they fold down and then they open up, okay? And then if you want, if it's difficult for you, you can just plop yourself down, grab your camera and do your thing. When you're finished, just stand up, you got your chair, fold it up, there you go, and off you go. It's that simple. They even have a little uh, bag here so you can carry some stuff as well. All right, so there you have it, a sort of bug's eye view, a more intimate view of a flower garden. I'd be interested to know how your intimate flower photography works out. Let me know. Until next time. I'm Ray Scott reminding you, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.